First here at five, a 23 year old jogger standing her ground when a man tries to kidnap her near a popular running spot. Yeah, here's a look right now at that area where this happened early this morning along Coffee Pot Boulevard in St. Petersburg. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck shows us what that wo woman did to escape and the way that you can help police catch that suspect. Sarah. Ellie was very brave. She told me she only had one thought. I am not getting in this car with a stranger with a gun. Instead, she dashed over this bridge you see right here that leads to Snell Isle, where a walker helped her dial 911. It started with a simple question. He was like, I need directions to 4th Street. Where's 4th Street? Allie, too nervous to show her face, says that question quickly turned to terror. He pulled out a gun and he says, why don't you get in the car? Instead, she ran away as fast as she could. I was sprinting away thinking, I'm like, this guy is going to shoot me. She never looked back. They teach you since grade school like to never get in the car with someone you don't know. So that was my first instinct was whatever is going to happen. I'm not getting in the car. Luckily, the driver sped off, but Ellie says she wanted to share her story so other women like Frances Shipper can be on the lookout. Well, if someone comes after me, they're getting one of these upside the head. Ellie says she never thought this would happen, especially along Coffee Pot Boulevard. To me, that's like one of the safest parts of St. Pete. And she's right. We checked out the crime stats. Over the past year, St. Pete police haven't responded to a single violent crime in the area. The trail is also well lit and popular, even early in the morning when Ellie was out running. Yeah, I could have had mace, but at that point, the, the mace first, the gun, like the gun's going to win. Instead, relying on her best weapon, her instincts. Now, St. Pete police are still looking for this man. If you were out this morning between 5 and 6 and saw a man matching this description, a black man in his 20s or 30s with dreadlocks, he was driving an orange car, probably burnt orange, and it may have been a Toyota Scion. Police officers do want to speak with you. Reporting live in St. Pete, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News. Sarah, thank you. And taking action for you now with three things St. Pete Police say you should do to stay safe while you exercise. First and foremost, vary your route. Also, only wear one earbud so you can hear what's happening around you. And if you can, police recommend carrying a can of mace or a personal safety alarm.